Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use gcloud commands to connect to a existing cluster, a Kubernetes cluster in GCP, so that then you can go going forward, you can use kubectl commands to actually admin that cluster. This is a very common way of managing clusters production and staging and whatnot. So uh, to do this, I'm going to follow the instructions that I've made up for myself. Uh, I'm going to post this in the description so you have them as well. But these are the steps I'm going to take. The first step is to create the clusters, which I already have. It's in my project here, and the cluster is already created. The next step is um, to, to create a service account that I'm going to use to authenticate with. So service account looks like it's already in my history. I'm going to create a new one, give it a name. Create and continue. I'm going to give it some permissions, namely Kubernetes engine admin permissions. Continue. And the service account is now created. I now need to create a JSON permission file that I need to download in the next step. So there's the account. Let me just go to it. It's probably easier. Keys. I'm going to add a key. Create a new key. JSON. Create. And now I'm going to open it up so I can save it in my home directory. This is the key. And there's the file. The next step I'm going to have to do, going back to my cheat sheet here. Set my project, make sure I'm on the right project. So I'm going to do that. But this connects me, oh, something happened. Cloud config set is list. Looks like I'm already on the right project here, so I don't have to do that step. All right, so then post check, make sure I'm right. Just did that. And this, next, I'm going to make sure that I have. I have the permission to see the clusters. I see I'm not using the right service account because that was just created. Uh -huh. These steps are kind of kind of out of order here. So I need to do that. Demo. So, if I do this, see, once I used the right key file, I have the right permissions. So now I can see the cluster that's all that I created before I started this video. So that is now done. So it looks like this order is out of order. So I need to change that before I post this. Now let's make sure that I am in the right account.
is my project. Now let's make sure that I have the right account list. There's again my YouTube project that's being chosen. You know this by, by seeing the star in this particular line. You can always switch them around. And this is the key step. This is where you authenticate with the cluster. You run this command. The thing to notice, there's some parameters here. The first one is the region, and the second one is the project. And because we already used the right service account, it should just work. You can ignore that particular warning with plugins. It doesn't actually affect the outcome we're trying to accomplish here. Now that we have this, we should be able to run normal kubectl commands. For example, get nodes. And you can see that I, I was able to connect to the cluster and see the list of nodes that are part of that cluster. The other thing you can do is run this command to make sure you have, you're have connected to the right cluster. You can see in the context, the current context is this cluster, cluster dash one, in the project YouTube demo dash some numbers. So hopefully that was useful to you and we will see you next time.